So the job today is to make sure you have written uh, all your slides correctly and in the right order and that you illustrate them and make them pretty. Even though I posted on Google Classroom a due date for today, it's not really a, a, a submission. You don't have to submit anything. Please don't share your presentation with me yet uh, or anything. We are ju I'm just putting a due date so that you know that by the end of class today, this is what you should have done. But I trust you. Just go ahead and click done, but don't attach anything or submit anything. All right, so for your last nine weeks exam, these are the slides that you should have had already. Okay, slide one was monotobiography in the title box, your full name in the subtitle box. Slide two was je m'appelle, plus your full name. Don't forget, every sentence needs to start with uppercase letter and with a period, okay? Some of you lost points on the uh, last nine weeks exam. Also, please look at the paper I gave you after the nine weeks exam last time. I gave you some feedback on uh, what was uh, the the good things or bad things or things that need to be fixed about your presentation. So take a look at that in case there's stuff to be fixed. So slide three was J'habite à El Paso. Make sure you capitalize the E of L and the P of Paso. Start with uppercase and with period. Slide four, je suis étudiante au lycée del Valle for the ladies. Je suis étudiant au lycée del Valle, gentlemen. Slide five was your nationality. Je suis Américaine, ladies. Je suis Américain, gentlemen. Or je suis Mexicaine, je suis Mexicain, if that applied. About a month ago, we worked on uh, your favorite singers and stuff, and I, we uh, added a couple of slides. So I think it's about a month ago. All right, so you should have added already, but if you haven't, uh, please do so as you watch this. The slide number six that you should have added is your first name with each letter separated by dashes. When you do the recording, tomorrow I'll give you the instructions for the recording, but when you do the recording, you're going to pronounce each letter using the French alphabet. So if your name is Mickey, you would say M-I-C-K-E-Y. This slide only, you don't need to illustrate more than that. Uh, you don't need to put pictures on this one. All right, after that, uh, we have three slides about your favorite singers and bands and three slides about your favorite song by then. So slide number seven was mon chanteur préféré. Mon chanteur préféré s'appelle and the name of your favorite male singer. It needs to be a male. After that, slide number eight was j'adore sa chanson. Open the French Quotation mark, put the title of one of his songs that you love. Close the quotation mark, period. Slide nine was Ma chanteuse préférée. Okay, make sure you put all those accents and the extra E. S'appelle and the name of your favorite female singer. Make sure you put a period at the end. And the name of your of the singers need to be capitalized as well. Okay, make sure if it's Ariana Grande, put uh, capital A, capital G. Okay, slide number 10 was a song of that female singer that you like. J'adore sa chanson, open quotation mark, the title of one of her songs that you love, close quotation marks, period. Slide number 11, you're going to put your favorite band, Mon groupe préféré s'appelle, the name of the band. Again, make sure you capitalize the the name of the band. Okay, and then period. And then a song by that band that you like with J'adore leur chanson, open quotation mark, title of a song from that band that you love, close quotation mark, period. Okay, so that's slide number 12. So this is where we had left off. We're going to add two more slides here. Okay, so this one we haven't yet, so you need to add a slide. So remember how we do that. You're going to go on slide, new slide. Okay, and it should give you a new slide. I don't want that because I already created it. Okay, but uh, that's how you would do it. Now, you, for frère and sœur, you're going to need some symbols. Remember, you're going to go in your 
accent app. Okay, for frères, you need a accent grave, a accent grave. You're going to click on this and then you go into the text. There is it just you can see and then you can uh, do CTRL and the letter V or right click and then paste and that accent uh, will come up okay right here for sir that O and E that's stuck together you're gonna need it from there as well go up there in your accent um, app you're gonna look for that symbol right here the O and E stuck together click on it Go back in your text, do CTRLV or right click and paste, and there you have it. All right. So for this slide, uh, de depending on your situation, you're not gonna. So you're not gonna write all of this. You're going to write based on your own family situation. As soon as my slide comes up. All right. So if you are an only child, please write "Je suis enfant unique." Period. If you only have brothers, put "Je." the number of brothers, and then frère. Don't mention this part. If you only have sisters, put J, and then your, the number of sisters, and then sœur, and a period, and that's it. If you have both, put J, the number of brothers, A, and the number of sisters. Just watch out the word un. Un is gender specific. So for the feminine, it's une. Okay, that's why I put it in color here. All the other numbers are the same regardless of the gender, but un and une will change. If it's followed by a masculine, you put un. If it's followed by a feminine, you put une. Okay, so go ahead and prepare that slide. And there you can illustrate with a family picture of your choice. And there's one more slide you're gonna add which is your H. So for slide number 14, you're going to open a new slide, slide 14, and write J, the, well, whichever your age is, 14, 15, 16, 17, or 18, en, and then a period. And this is going to be our question at the door this week. So J, 14 ans, if you're 14, J, 15 ans, if you're 16, J, 16 ans, if you're uh, 16, j'ai 17 ans. If you're 17, j'ai 18 ans. If you're 18, don't forget to put an uppercase J and a period at the end. All right, so that's all the slides you should have. So I'm going to give you a little summary of what you should have had. Okay, and I posted that on Google Classroom as well. I put a picture of that. those three slides that I'm showing you. This is what you should have had for slides 6 to 12. And you can pause this video at any point or backtrack if you need to see something again. And slide 13 and 14. Okay, so at this point, you should have a total of 14 slides. Make sure you check the spelling. Make sure you illustrate them. Once they're illustrated, that's the job for today. And tomorrow, I'm going to give you a quick recap on how to record uh, the sound using Screencastify.